Contrary to popular belief, Honey Badger does care. And we care about Honey Badger. So we're going to give you a little background about it. But before we get started, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you will know when we drop new videos like these. Now, without further ado, let's let Honey Badger light it up. So a lot of people out there know Honey Badger Knives. A lot of people actually don't know about Honey Badger Knives. Now the great thing about those, if, if you know about them, is that they are great utility knives. They're great work knives. Now the company started in 2014 when by a man named Mark Ager. And he, uh, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Ager, 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 Ager. Um, A-G-E-R. Doesn't seem like it would be that difficult, but you know, I've seen some weird names. Um, but he had over 30 years of experience in the, the hunting and outdoor market in South Africa. And after doing about 18 months of research and planning, he dove in head first to creating this brand called Honey Badger Knives. And what he wanted to do was bring a very practical use very hard use work knife into the market that South Africans could afford. Um, because at the time, a lot of what was there and he had spent, you know, the last 30 years importing outdoor equipment. And a lot of what he was seeing was that, uh, anything that was affordable was not, um, durable enough to, to stand up to what the abuse that they were putting it through. So he set out to create a brand that could handle the abuse, but was at an affordable price. And um, it, it, like I said before, it's a very no frills, um, practical use knife. And we've got a few of them here. Now, the great thing about Honey Badger is they're very simple to understand their models. Um, they've got several different models and, and they're, they all work together. So, in every model and blade type, they've got a small, medium, and large. They've got four different handle colors that we carry. And there are, what, four different blade types? Is that right? Something like that? We're going to go through them all right here, right now. Um, the first one up, we're going to take a look at the small drop point, and this one is in the tan right here. Uh, and they also have different blade materials. Now we're gonna take a look at that one up close and personal here. This is gonna be the tan drop point, and uh, it's got a great finger choil right there. That's one thing that I really love with the jimping on the finger choil. Really allows you to get a really good aggressive grip on there. Um, blade length on the small drop point is going to be 2.8 inches. That's an 8 CR13 MOV blade. They also have this same one in D2, and that's another thing. So each model that they have, each each handle color, each blade style, comes in two different blade steels. It's either going to be 8 CR13 MOV or D2 tool steel. Um, this one's coming in at an overall length of 6.5 inches. Closed length is 3.7 inches. It does have the flipper. It does have the reversible pocket clip. Tip up pocket clip. Um, has the flipper. Has the thumb hole opening. So it flicks really easy. Um, FRN handles. Um, full stainless steel liners. It is a liner lock. And the action on these things is fantastic. I really love how these work. Um, and again, just a no frills approach to a great dependable knife, um, that's not going to break the bank. Uh, now moving on, um, the next blade type that they have is going to be the Warncliffe. And this is going to be in the blue handle version. Now, as far as handle colors, they come in the tan, the green, the blue, the black, and the orange. This one's the blue. 
and this is the medium Warncliffe version. We're going to take a look at that one up close right here. Now, they're calling this the Honey Badger D2 Medium Worn Cleaver in blue. Um, it's kind of a mixture between a Worn Cliff and a Cleaver blade. This one's in the D2 steel. This one's coming in at $57. So typically with theirs, and you know, don't quote me on each specific model, but the ones that come in 8CR13 MOV are going to be around Thirty to thirty-five dollars, usually about thirty-three dollars. Um, the D2 steel versions are going to be anywhere from fifty to fifty-five dollars, so usually around fifty-three dollars on average. Um, this is the medium size worn cleaver. Now let's look at the measurements on that one. That one's coming in with a blade length of three point one nine inches, and an overall length of seven point two eight inches, and a closed length of three. 0.19 inches, which is really cool the way that they've designed that. Again, this one has the flipper as well as the thumb hole opening, um, reversible pocket clip, tip up, FRN handles. That's the blue version. Um, now, moving on, they've also got the uh, claw, what we lovingly refer to as the claw. And uh, this one's coming in. This is the medium green claw serrated now another cool thing is each one of the claws comes in with a serrated and a non-serrated version again with the 8CR13 or D2 tool steel versions they all have the finger choil um, this one's coming in at $35 this is 8CR13 MOV this is the green FRN handle version and that one's coming in with a 4.09 inch overall, well, excuse me, 4.09 inch closed length, 3 inch blade, and a 7 inch overall length. And really great serrations there. That's going to be great for uh, cutting nautical rope, uh, anything of that nature. Um, great to have around. Great as a uh, utility knife. It's going to really saw through because those serrations are very very aggressive. Moving on, we've also got the orange handled versions. Um, and again, all of these come in <clears throat> with the orange or the tan, blue, or green handles or black handles, excuse me. And uh, this is the D2 version. So this is the large drop point. We're going to take a look at that one up close. This is the orange handled large drop point version in D2. This one's coming in at $56. 8.25 inches overall. Blade length is 3.63 inches. Again, same features as all of them. You've got the thumb hole. You've got the flipper. Great action. Reversible tip up pocket clip. FRN handles. This is the orange version. And uh, one thing I really like about the orange version is you're not going to lose it. Or at least you think you're not. I have lost orange knives before. Um, I'm currently looking for one that uh, I have misplaced of my own. Now, moving on, we've also got the claw, like I said before, with the non serrated version. This is the 8CR13 MOV blade, non serrated with the black FRN handles. Let's take a look at that one up close right there. Now, this is the medium size claw black flipper with the thumb hole opening. Again, FRN handles. This one's coming in at $35. 7.3 inches overall, 3 inch satin finish blade, 4.1 inches closed. And again, great action, great utility right there. Um, got the old hawk bill style right there that a lot of people know and love. Um, Got the lanyard hole right there integrated into the FRN spacer back there. And then last but not least um, is the gut hook version. Now they call this the hook. Let's take a look at that one up close as well. This is the large hook flipper. This one's with the black handles. Uh, this one's with 8CR13 MOV blade steel, FRN handles again, 
as you've come to expect from them. Um, also, the finger choil on that one with the jimping. Again, I just I really like the jimping on that um, finger choil right there. It really gives you a sense of confidence and security, especially if you're using this um, with the gut hook for what you're uh, for what you want going to be using this for. Um, it gives you a sense of confidence and security using that there. Uh, Thirty six dollars on this one. It being the ATR 13 MOV blade steel with the thumb hole again, as well as the flipper. Um, and that's one thing I've discussed in other videos is I really like having different options. And we had someone ask that question um, on, uh, I believe, our QSP video. Uh, we had someone ask, you know, why are they putting thumb studs on knives with flippers? And, you know, really when it comes down to it and some people might not agree with it, you know, that's, that's your prerogative. Uh, it's like my dad always said, opinions are like buttholes. Everyone's got one and most of them stink. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things. We've all got opinions. Some people like different things. That's just the way it goes. A lot of people right now are trending toward liking something with different methods of opening because, if you really think about it, you're going to be in different situations when you need your knife. Sometimes it's going to be easier just to use that flipper right there. Sometimes if you just want to fidget with it, sometimes you want to reverse flick it. Sometimes if you want to be, you know, less conspicuous and not quite as intimidating, you just want to use that thumb hole and just roll it open like that right there. So there's knife companies are now putting different opening methods on their knives because it's it's more utilitarian that way. Um, it's going to appeal to a larger audience uh, because some people prefer specific ones. They're making a knife that appeals to several different people that way. So, uh, you know, there's different reasons. But the really cool thing about Honey Badger is, again, uh, the no-frills approach to a practical, everyday-use knife that is affordable and accessible to anyone. That's what I love about what Mark Ager has done with the development of Honey Badger Knives. And uh, we're really excited about these. Um, the links for these, we're, we're actually going to put a link to all of our Honey Badger Knives in the description below. So just click on that link. It's going to take you to our website and show you all of the Honey Badger Knives that we have in stock at this moment, folks. Thank you so much. Again, if you like this video, like, share, comment, subscribe, um, ring the notification bell. Join us in the comments down below. Um, a lot of what you guys are saying is constructive. And then a small percentage is absolutely hilarious. And you guys are just out of control. And we find it very entertaining. So uh, we enjoy reading the comments and uh, laughing about some of them and actually using some of them constructively. So we really appreciate that. Keep them coming. And uh, as always, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com. And remember, if it cuts like a honey badger and it cares, then we carry it. If you like this video, smash that thumb. thumbs up. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey. How you doing? <clears throat> down, 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 down. Okay. <clears throat>